solicitors. And thank you very, very much. Operation Stovewood, I think our viewers and our listeners, possibly myself as well, could do a, with a little bit of a refresher in exactly what this is. Well, it's a police investigation into allegations of child abuse in Rotherham. The allegations of child abuse stem way back to the late 1990s, if I remember correctly, and were identified as a result of investigations um, into what was taking place in Rotherham. And as you've said in your opening, there's been a series of um, investigations, criminal investigations, resulting in a number of convictions. Mm. Yes, indeed. And I'm going to talk very shortly anyway to Charlie Peters, who's alongside me at the minute, to get the bigger picture about the grooming gang scandal, frankly, that's ripping across Britain, possibly as we speak, because I strongly believe that there are cases still ongoing right throughout the country. But this is a, a big picture investigation as well, isn't it? Uh, do you believe that things are actually moving in the right direction? Is there any kind of deterrence at the moment taking place? Because clearly there wasn't for a good number of years. Well, the, in, the, there's been an inquiry into what took place in Rotherham, and one of the findings of the inquiry was that there was an underestimation of the extent of sexual abuse. And uh, I think the powers that be, whether it be the police or social services, certainly underestimated the extent, and perhaps thought wrongly that child abuse um, was on the decline. It isn't. And, and we know that whether we like it or not, child abuse remains with us, and with all the changes in online technology and so on, the manner in which children and young people are accessed for abuse evolves, and it is very much a matter of trying to keep up with all the changes in society and the changes that are brought in society by changes in technology and so on. So it is a very big picture, and we probably still don't fully understand the extent of child no. abuse. You know, we hear of county lines and so on, again, which is a manifestation in many ways of what is actually happening. Okay? Yeah, indeed. Now, some of these figures are utterly stark. I'm just going to reiterate them. So to date, 1,367 crimes have been recorded as part of this Operation Stovewood, essentially a grooming gang operation. 209 people arrested and 20 people have been convicted of offences. People scratching their heads right across the country wondering how things so widespread such as this could not have been stopped sooner. I think you alluded to it. Potentially an underestimation of the extent of it, yes. Some people have argued a lack of will. A, maybe because a lot of the victims happen to be young girls from very unfortunate backgrounds, shall we say, in children's homes, etc., maybe with some other issues. But also as well, in some cases, in some cases, because of the demographics of the perpetrators involved. Your views? Well, all that is identified in the investigation that took place into Rotherham. So there was, um, let's put it this way, misplaced um, attitudes towards victims and children because they came perhaps from a particular demographic. There was an unwillingness to accept the extent of the problem. There was fears that um, they, the, you know, the powers that be, the police and social services, would get into trouble for um, labelling. Let's put it that way. Because, because what was identified was that a large number of the perpetrators came from the Asian community. And there was a great sensitivity about that. And maybe the sensitivity was misplaced. But I think what we now understand is you can't dodge the issues. You, you've got to be objective and you've got to accept when you're looking at these um, very unpleasant and difficult issues. Yeah.